I sprained my knee at a dance audition last week and I got really, really scared. And so much of my identity is wrapped around being able to dance. It hasn't been easy, but in the midst of the fear, I was inspired to create this vlog. This vlog is the behind the scenes of a dancing and acting life from classes to auditions to projects and all the artists that I've met along the way. I'm doing this because I want you to know that you are not alone in your process and together we can support each other and lift each other up as we bring our dreams into reality. what I just got. So I'm going to be part of a really exciting dance project in May with one of my dance mentors, Wes Feldink. Wes wanted me to get this book. Letter to Earth. Who We Are Becoming, What We Need to Know by Elia Wise. The opening quote says, we must expand our imaginations to include the truth. So one of the things that I've been doing to relieve the stress around my injury and stay connected to my body has been doing the Franklin Method using uh, some of Eric Franklin's videos that are available on YouTube. And the Franklin Method is basically combining dynamic anatomy together with imagery to create a positive change in your body. It's quite amazing. So right now I have the balls under my armpits to give my shoulders the experience of support. Now I'm tapping my ribs and as I bend over, my ribs are widening apart and as I come back up, they're coming closer together. So I'm using the image of a fan, or perhaps an accordion to support this movement and improve my function as I do it. Shortly after I finish the other side, I'm going to take a moment and just notice how I feel. Notice and register any changes in my body so that my nervous system has a chance to record the new experience. It's quite spectacular. I highly recommend you check out some of the Franklin Method videos. My spine feels like a giraffe. Ooh, it's cold. So, because of my knee injury, I'm quite limited movement-wise. I can't do any deep flexions like grand plies or child's pose in yoga. Anything that requires balance, fast moves, jumps, turns are out of the question at this point. The joint mu and the muscles aren't really functioning and they're traumatized, so I find being in the water really great because it allows me to give the muscles the opportunity to get familiar with moving again, but in a safe and supportive environment. I'm doing basic ballet bar exercises, a few tendus, and slow leg lifts. I don't have a lot of turnout available, and it's really hard to lift my leg past 45 degrees. It starts to hurt a lot. So this is where I'm at. It was a little bit frustrating. I honestly thought I was actually in a better place. But, you know, one day at a time, and tomorrow I'll be back, and it will be better. And uh, for now, I'm going to jump into the jacuzzi. I don't know if that was the best idea, Hanali. With an injured and inflamed knee, the better choice would have been ice. Oh well, we're all a work in progress. Tomorrow, Monday morning, I got an audition that has come up and seeing how I was in the pool today, I am definitely not ready to be jumping and dancing around yet. So I was thinking of not going, but then I read the description of the show and they're looking to hire 25 dancers, minimum of 10 will be Asian. I'm Asian. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show up because they're typecasting and I want to introduce myself to the choreographer and see if I'm even the type he is looking for. And if I am, then I can just tell him that I've been 
recovering from hurting my knee last week, but that I will be up and running very soon, uh, and I could send him a submission video, or I don't know what. I'm just going to show up. I feel like I have nothing to lose. It's better than staying at home. And I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Thank you for watching. Here are a few sneak peeks from the next episode. If you like this video, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe.